What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another exciting accessory video for you guys. Today we have in the lab the CyberCube portable Bluetooth speaker from my friends over at Musin, and this is going to be a very, very cool product. In addition to being a portable Bluetooth speaker, by the way, shout out to them for sending out the gift bag with this, not just the review unit, but also the gift bag. Now, the really cool thing about this is, this is not just a small portable Bluetooth speaker with a lot of power, it is also, in addition to that, a fidget spinner. I got the gray one, this thing also comes in white, it's got RGB lighting and all kinds of stuff. This is my first time unboxing it, so we're gonna do the unboxing, then I'm gonna play with it for a little while, we'll come back after I have paired it up and played with it for a few days, and I'll go ahead and do some audio testing, give you guys my thoughts. So you guys can see right here, across the border of the Cosmo, it's supposed to be like a futuristic looking Bluetooth speaker. I'll go ahead and take the plastic casing there off and show you just how small this thing is in terms of its portability. And we're gonna see the power as well. You see the fidget spinner right there for you to play with. So in addition, if you're not using this as a Bluetooth speaker all the time, you can also pocket this because it's super, super tiny in terms of its size and footprint for the power that you get on display. You guys can see it's very easy to fit in my hand. I can easily put it in my pocket. It's also light, it's only 245 grams. And in addition, like I said, you've got that fidget spinner on there. Um, this thing does have an all metal body, frosted metal texture. So it's a matte texture, not glossy. So no fingerprints or anything on there. Let's see what else you get inside the packaging really quick. So you've got some, that's just some branded stuff there. You've got your setup instructions there, which I'll look at in a second. And then I'm gonna imagine that down here, probably got a charging cable and you do. It is a USB A to C charging cable. So that's everything you need in the package right there for a Bluetooth speaker. Like I said, I'm gonna set this up using those instructions, pair it up, with my trusty Galaxy S22 Ultra, as always. Come back, show you guys the amazing features of this device, and we're gonna do some sound tests with some various genres of music. So I'll be right back and we're gonna check it out. All right, guys, we are back in. I've been playing with the Musin CyberCube for a while now. Again, this is the fidget spinner edition. I'm ready to show you guys all the features. First of all, it was a very simple process to pair this guy up with my S22 Ultra. Just go right in there, you switch on the Bluetooth, and you guys can see I've got it paired up with the S22 Ultra. We're gonna do some audio testing in a second. The pairing process is simple. Like I said, you just switch this over clockwise and then hold the switch, and it's gonna put it in pairing mode and you'll be good to go. Now, this thing does have a ton of features on it, so I wanna go over all those features. You guys can see the LED lights there at the front. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights when I do my music test here in a second. It's probably gonna show a little bit of a halo effect because the lights in the dark are gonna look a little strange. But uh, the lights can be controlled up here. This top button here, just a short press, can change it between the uh, breathing mode, the gradual light mode, and then a fixed light mode where it just stays one color forever. You just do a single press and that's gonna take you between all those different modes as you can see up there. Now also up here, this rotating knob here is your volume controls. So you just turn that to turn the volume either down or up. Uh, you do have a very cool trick over here that's also on top of the Bluetooth and on off button. You can long press this and it turns on a flashlight at the top, which is actually a pretty bright little flashlight here. So again, since you're gonna be carrying this in your pocket, if you need a little flashlight when you're out and about, this one's probably even a little stronger than the flashlight on my S22 Ultra, but hey, you have an extra one there in case you need it. This guy over here is going to be your play pause. So press this button to play or pause track. You can also rotate it either clockwise to go forward, counterclockwise to go back here. Um, that light up there emanating while it's paired. And then over here on this side, of course, this guy is right there, sealed in terms of the charging port. So right there, you're gonna connect your USB-C for charging. Um, this does have an IP rating for dust and water resistance. So you don't have to worry about this thing, you know, if you're taking it out just in the rain shortly or anything like that. And the charging port is covered. This thing's pretty well covered. So you don't have to worry about that snapping loose if you're out and about. And then up here at the top, you do have a little connector where you can put a strap through here. Maybe you can tie this around your neck or something like this if you're out and about hiking. It's a great outdoor speaker. Definitely could be used because it's got a very durable frame and seems like, you know, feels really premium in the hand, very rugged. And then of course on the front here, you've also got that fidget spinner, which is just a great way, you know, to enjoy passing time when you're not using it as a Bluetooth speaker, something to relax and kind of just enjoy the product, make it a little bit more fun. So like I said, let's go ahead and just do some testing really quick. And then I'll, I'll show you guys really quick the base. That's what I'm gonna do first. 
test this with some non-copyrighted music uh, rap songs uh, in Spotify and show you guys the bass a little bit. And then I'll turn on the light and let you guys see what the um, the LED lights look like. We'll play maybe a different one, like a pop or rock song. You guys can see the mids and the highs a little bit better. So let's check it out. Turn it up a bit. You guys can see we're increasing the volume. Yeah. Basically the maximum. That's about the middle volume right there. And that's about as low as it goes. So this thing does have pretty clear bass for such a small speaker at high volumes. I mean, you know, you're gonna need a larger speaker, of course, to get maximum bass, but considering that this is a pocketable speaker, the bass is actually relatively impressive for such a small footprint. And again, given that you're getting a flashlight, a fidget spinner, all this other stuff in a very durable frame that's portable, you get some really nice bass considering that. And also the price proposition on this at around 120 to 150, depending on if you want the fidget spinner, uh, you've got a really good price on this speaker for the performance. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I go ahead and turn off the lights, like I said, let you guys see how the lights look, because it's a little hard to see it with the light on. And then we'll play one more song so you guys can see the mids and the highs a little bit better. Okay, so this is how the Musen speaker looks, the Cybercube looks with the lights off. You did a little halo effect there from shooting with my camera, but you can see the lights a little bit better. I can change the lighting effect so you guys can see the differences between the breathe, the gradual, and then a fixed color like that right there is what it's gonna look like in fixed color. You can see again, a little bit of halo effect there, but it does look really cool with the lights off. You know, if you sit this on your desk or something like that, this is a very cool look, looking speaker with the lights off. Definitely something that you're gonna wanna show off to your friends. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys the play and pause controls and everything like that really quick. So up here, you go ahead and hit this button to play. And then you can move it, go forward track. And then go back. Like I said, very clear in terms of, even if you crank up the volume, you get pretty good bass and clear mids and highs from such a small speaker. And uh, definitely the other features make this a compelling, compelling product. And of course you also get that flashlight, like I said before. You guys can see just how bright it is here. Sorry, get the light shining in everyone's eyes there. Let's go ahead and just listen to a couple other songs so you guys can get an idea of the lows, the mid, and the bass, I'll go ahead and play a couple different tunes so you guys can check it out. But this is a really cool product, like I said. I'm gonna drop the link below if you guys are interested to picking one of the Cybercubes up, well as the link and also any coupon codes that Musin provides for me. A very cool product that I'm gonna use while I'm traveling this summer. Hopefully some of you guys will pick it up as well. I think it's gonna be a great compliment and travel buddy for my Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.